Today we're going to learn about the top five JavaScript frameworks that you should be learning in 2017. Before we begin, let me just let you know that these are my top picks on what you should learn in 2017, and that's something I got out of a website. Although according to Indeed.com, React, Angular, and Ember are all in demand. However, if you're looking for a job in web development, do yourself a favor and learn the basics first. Look in how to manipulate the DOM without using something like jQuery, try out free CodeCamp or CodeSchool, start contributing to open source, and when you're ready, jump into several frameworks, not just one. The point is to really try to understand the fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before you deep dive into one of these frameworks. There's really no shortcuts. Without further ado, let's begin. And number five is Aurelia. Aurelia is a front-end framework created by Rob Eisenberg a few years ago and features two-way data binding, a fully functional routing and UI layer, as well as extensible HTML. It can be adopted to any project. If you look through my channel, you'll see a lot of videos in Aurelia. It's one of my favorite frameworks to teach and learn and, and hack on. It's been really fun to learn and work with. I've created a bunch of different projects. I'll leave some of the links below if you guys want to check it out. And number four is Angular. Angular was originally developed in 2009 by Misko Hevery at Brat Tech LLC. It's now a Google-backed front-end client-side JavaScript framework. Recently has gone through a complete rewrite. If I was starting out, I would look closely at Angular 2 and take a cursory glance at Angular 1. Of course, this all depends on what type of job you're trying to get. Many shops around the world are still using Angular 1 and Angular 2 is still not quite ready. But I think if you're looking forward to 2017, I think more and more places are going to switch over to Angular 2 and it's definitely something that you should be learning in the next few years. My number three pick is Vue.js. Vue.js is another front end framework that can be incrementally adopted throughout your app. You can easily put it in to a lot of different JavaScript applications, to a lot of different web, web apps out there. It focuses on the view layer only, and it's really easy to pick up and integrate, like I said, with other libraries. And uh, it's been talked about a lot. I've seen it a lot on Hacker News and, and Reddit and a lot of other places, so I think it's getting a lot more traction. At number two is React. React was created by Jordan Walk, an engineer at Facebook, in sometime around 2011, 2012. It was, it's been quickly become one of the most popular frameworks, JavaScript frameworks out there. It's versatile, fast, it features one-way data flows. It has something called JSX. You're actually gonna be writing HTML and JavaScript together. Um, it, they've, the React team has done some amazing things. They have created React Native, which provides uh, develop, um, be able to develop natively for iOS and Android. It's certainly been talked about a ton. There's been a lot of people learning it, and a lot of engineering jobs looking for people who know React, so I would look into it. And at number one is Ember.js. Of course, me being an Ember guy, I would put this at first, but I really do think in the last year and looking forward to 2017 and this year, it's, uh, it's just gonna get better. It's a highly ambitious client-side JavaScript framework is created by Yehuda Katz and Tom Dale with a focus on convention over configuration. It was, recently, it was called Sprout Core in 2011, Sprout Core 2, and they renamed it to Ember.js. It's completely open source. It has a really great community um, and it's continuously continues to grow and become better and better. And we'll be hearing more about the great new things to come with the framework at EmberConf this year in March, so keep your eye out. On a personal note, I have many videos on Ember.js on this channel. If you're interested, I'll put some links below on some of the more popular ones. I'm also looking forward to 20, looking forward to the next few months in 2017 to do even more videos, so stay tuned for that. So that's it. I hope you like my list of the top five JavaScript frameworks to learn in 2017. Please, in the comment section below, let me know your favorites. Also, if you can, please click the subscribe button below. Take care.